Hello everyone! In this video, as I promised, I will explain the major sections of Academic Presenter. Academic Presenter consists of four major sections, Menu Bar, Tool Bar, Properties Window, and the Status Bar. Menu Bar, which is located on top of the application, is responsible for doing main functions such as storing and restoring in File Menu, or cloning and removing object in Edit Menu. The second major section is Toolbar. You can find it in the left side. Mostly it is in charge of drawing different objects as well as covering functions which are vital for modeling presentations such as object selector and transform tools. Yeah, here we are. The third section is property window. As you can see, it is the right side in the right side of the application. And this window gives access to property of each selected object including background and animation to customize your shape and object. Here without drawing anything, the presentation tabs and background tabs are shown. Finally, last but not the least, section is status bar, which display control keys, situation, memory in use. Also you can find which tool has been chosen and ready to be used. Now let's get exposed to each section by doing a very simple modeling. First let's draw a field rectangle. In order to draw an object, you can choose a proper item from either insert menu or from the toolbar. Okay. After choosing a field, choosing field rectangle, you need to choose the most top left corner of rectangle by mouse or by a stylus and drag it onto the most bottom right corner. And finish it there. Okay, so if you begin with the most bottom right corner and finish in the top left corner, again there would be no problem, but the width and height will show negative value. Now you draw your very first object in Academic Presenter. Congratulations! Let's continue by customizing it. By clicking on Object Selector, you will have your arrow, and by clicking on the Rectangle Properties, will, Property window will exhibit available properties related to Rectangle. Let's do it. Here we are. As it is appeared, you can alter position as well as size of your rectangle by changing re related values of left, top, width and height. Also, you can determine each item border size from here. Suppose we are going to increase the width or change the left. Now we shift this rectangle to the right more. Okay. Also, we, uh, we said that we can change the border width to, for example, 5. Now I want to also change the style of the border. I can choose any style that, uh, that I want, like dash dot. But again, look both of them they are same they have same color so let's change the colors let's change the border color first to the red hmm much better now let's change the field color to the blue or maybe this side okay very good very good contrast so as you have seen the border line can take different styles from here also, you can make your object more transparent by sliding the track to the left. Okay, again, we will select it. Again, here, it will show the property bar, property tab, and we can make it more transparent from here. Like this, easy. You may want to choose a text to be shown inside the object. No problem. For demonstration purpose, we, we can choose Hello World. What a permanent expression to start with. Here, Hello World. Here we go. Okay. You can see it's here. 
uh, but not that much very clear so you may want to change its color first let's change the color let's change it to something more darker like a brown okay so you can justify you can change the alignment of the text from the this combo box to the left you can you can change it to the right or you can keep it in the center also you can change the font size font let's say a style and name even so I'm in here I am going to choose this font bold and make it bigger let's let's do it here we are so in order to make it keep it in the totally in the center vertically center let's press the enter so we have an enter here and then we can change also again the text size from this slider so for very fine adjustments we can change we can decrease or we can increase the font size from here also you can change the angle now we can see that we can rotate your VR or object from here and finally if we don't like our object for example it's not the thing that we have imagined so we can remove it from here easily it seems it was not even existed now let's practice more by doing more exercise let's create two circle okay this one is more ellipse to be circle okay that's okay okay and let's change some property of this ellipse Also, we can change the width and height from here but let me show you the alternative way to do it from the toolbar let's change let's choose free transform tool keep the shift down and drag it you can see that we change the component one width and height also you can drag it without shift and you can change the angle by keeping the control button down you can see that it's saying that the control button is down here in the status bar and drag it from the here okay. let's do the difference instead of creating the object let's first delete this object let's clone it edit clone now we have another clone of this object oh sorry i think my control was down okay now we have the second component let's change its properties component 2 and let's change the style also we can add shadow to it shadow and the distance is adjusted with this number okay let's add a line between these two components choose the line from the toolbar from the component one start to drag to component two and leave it the line properties will be shown it said that the selected object type in the source is field ellipse and the also destination is field ellipse you can add also arrow in the source part or destination part or both of them let's say there is a way from component 1 to component 2 
so we have to add this arrow arrow in the destination and also let's change the width and and the style let's say okay here we go also we can remove it from here and again both of them and it will be under it will understand that you are moving it and it can adjust the line very easily by itself automatically you don't need to uh, deal with the properties for example where it collided to the circle or where it collided to the rectangle without any problem let's add also another component component 3 also we want it to be round rig not the rectangle so from here we will choose round rig from here we will choose shadow so it is a round rig with shadow let's keep the dash style solid and fill color let's make it orange text color text color which color is good red let's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. get the blue can give better contrast sub component again we can choose the size and font style okay good enough now we want to add another line from the bottom part of the sub component to the component 2 so again we will choose from here line to here it will say that it is from field rectangle from the source because we have chosen dragging the line from source to the destination again the field ellipse field ellipse is in the destination but the field rectangle gives more more option to us so we can choose that from which corner, from which point, control point you want to have your line. In here, because I want to have my line from the down part of the subcomponent, I will choose 4, it means close, and it is shown here. You can have from center, you can have from the different sides, but I am choosing uh, source. Also, I want to arrow B from the both of them now let's keep it for the source so from component 2 now there is a link to the sub component which makes sense now now also I can because it is a sub component let's make it smaller so the line width is 0 0.5 and it is dash now you can see that you have your own line which is smaller than the previous one and it will understand that where it's collided totally automatic of course it was just a brief introduction to modeling and I will explain more item in addition to more functions in the next videos take care and I will catch you in the next video